Meanwhile, the Trump administration has advanced a major potential arms sale to Taiwan involving dozens of new F-16 fighter jets, a move that has been denounced by China. Now, according to reports, the Congress was notified about the potential sale informally on Thursday, and an official announcement in this regard is expected to be approved by the Senate's Foreign Relations Committee and the House Foreign Affairs Committee sometime soon. Now, the U.S. decision comes amidst heightened tensions between China as the trade war wages on and also the protests in Hong Kong continue to draw criticism from the United States. With this new weaponry sales, the ties between both the countries could erode further. China considers Taiwan as a part of its territory and regards any American involvement there as nothing short of an intrusion. Now, denouncing the deal, China has said that the United States arms deal to Taiwan very severely violates the One China principle. The China has also threatened that the United States will have to bear the consequences if the deal were to go ahead. Now, this is not the first instance of military dealings between the United States and Taiwan. In fact, the United States is Taiwan's largest supplier of military equipment, something that has always irked China. Now, since the year 2010, the United States has sold more than $15 billion worth of arms to Taiwan. The military balance between Taiwan and China has become lopsided with the latter's modernization drive, and this has of course made Taiwan more dependent on the United States for its military hardware. All right, now it's a long-standing tradition in the United States politics. Iowa can make or break a presidential candidate's White House run. This rural Midwestern state is the first to hold its primaries with the famed Iowa caucuses in February 2020. And for many Democrats vying for their party's nomination, the Iowa State Fair is an essential campaign stop. Take a look at this report. Hi. Thanks for stopping by to vote. Here at the Iowa State Fair, visitors can vote for their favorite presidential candidate more than a year out from the 2020 elections. The ballots at this largely agricultural fair are corn kernels, and the many Democratic candidates are all represented. On the Republican side, Donald Trump appears all but guaranteed his party's nomination. The former vice president is the front runner in national polls and is treated like a movie star here. But even the less well-known candidates hit up the fair, with the hopes of making a name for themselves in this early voting state. Uh, the shortage of both men. I've only been in this race for about 10 weeks, yet it's my eighth trip to Iowa. And I've listened and I've learned from you. Next February, Iowans will select their preferred candidate in the Iowa caucuses, often seen as an early indicator for each party's eventual nominee. The fair is a crucial way for candidates to connect with the voters who could make or break their presidential dreams. But not without a little fun. In the form of pig races and fried corn dog tastings. 